It's always fun to try to incorporate some new flavors when you're grilling. Brad Glenn from Liftridge Brewing. I'm having trouble saying <laughs> Liftridge Brewing today. In Have you had a few beers already? Not yet, not yet. We're going to talk about amping up your grilled dishes with beer. Great to have you with us, Brad. Hey, thank you. All right, you've got some ideas using, uh, uh, shockingly, Liftridge beers. Yes. Well, <laughs> we make a wide range of beers, and beer and barbecue is, you know, goes together. Perfect. Ooh, yeah. you brought the new I usually dough. just drink it, but you're telling me you can cook with it. Absolutely. So what we did first is our new mango blonde that came out for the season, again, celebrating, well, mm -hmm. not today, but celebrating <laughs> typically the sun um, incorporate some tropical flavors so we have this um, grilled shrimp yeah and you can marinate in beer so I use a little bit of beer marinade maybe a little bit of brine to get that shrimp a little little bit salty and incorporate mm -hmm. a little bit of that malt sweetness and then pairing that with some mangoes obviously and the mango Perfect. blonde that yeah. makes blonde sense is really yeah. good Absolutely. very that. cool Tell yeah. us about this technique here. Um, so during, I guess, uh, smoking and grilling, you know, bigger cuts of meat, those can tend to dry out. So I just yeah. took a big chuck roast, and again, I'm not going to say it's as good as brisket, but a good chuck roast, good. low and yeah. slow, yeah. and doing some mopping. And I mop typically <laughs> with just a little bit of salted beer, just to keep it wet during the cooking, keep it moist. What and did I, you use for this one? Well, I made a barbecue sauce out of our new root beer that just oh, came no out. So way. this is actually a root beer barbecue sauce. A few restaurants have done it for a while, like Red Cow has their root beer that they make with, with, with uh, our root beer, root beer barbecue sauce in their menu, but I, I just did a variation of that, so a little bit of root beer barbecue sauce. It's cool, sense. and you use like just a little mop like this to yeah, to keep just it, to keep yeah. keep well, instead the, of brushing. Yeah, just keep it moist during cooking. Because if you use the yeah. sauce during cooking for several hours, you'll just build up too much of a sauce layer. You just want to keep it know. wet. Okay, yeah. what is happening over here? Well, um, so grilling vegetables can be difficult, right? Yeah. Um, they can dry out. They can shrivel up. You know, they uh, always shrivel up. That's I know. So you want to go hot, quick, and then I actually use some spritzing. So I, I put Farm Girl right in this jar. Some parsley and some lemon rind. So cool. And during cooking, you can just, just keep a it. keep a spray oh, just to keep it brilliant. nice and moist, so it doesn't shrivel up, but still keeps it nice and moist. Incorporates some flavor too. Yeah, some really good flavor. And of course, that. that pairs well with Farm Girl because yes. it's a lighter <laughs> beer. So. so you still, just to be clear, you still can drink while you're grilling. You right? you have to really. Yeah. I mean, you, <laughs> you really should. I mean, you can go the root beer. Again, this is, yeah, this just wrong. came out right in cans. Just came out. It'll be hitting the stores this week. It's non-alcoholic. We use pure cane sugar though, and a Great, great oh. process with it. So. I love that you yeah. made the, the barbecue sauce with it. Yeah. That can is killer, too. It smells too. amazing. Yeah. Very Excellent. good. Very fun. Brad, are you guys open today in Stillwater? Yes, or? we are. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. can run in and get your last minute growlers, I guess. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> to bring over to the barbecue. Very good. Brad, thanks for coming in. I Thank love you. these ideas. Tomorrow, mid morning.